that part out. Oh, well. <laughs> and I'm here to talk about the safety drain switches um, that we put in our air handlers. Uh, most, most air conditioners will have these in them nowadays per code. Um, this is a low voltage switch which goes into the low voltage side of your air handler and it's, it's very safe. Um, there's, no, there's no worry about high voltage problems or such. It just ties right into the low voltage. I know some people are concerned about that uh, just because it has a wire coming out of it. just to prevent water damage. Um, now this ain't gonna prevent you know all of your water issues if you have them, such as a cra cracked drain pan or a freezing up of the coil. Just there's so much ice and water that's gonna be melting it, it probably won't catch it all. Um, if this is this is mainly for if your your main drain backs up, this will help in that application. Uh, it's better your chances of anything leaking. Um, so to catch that, like I said, it's 24 volts. It's a typical um, safety switch that most contractors use. This is a front-facing return. So in this application, we're going to be piping the, the pipes out of the side. There isn't any outlets for the front. So this is made for the for the side application. This this drain here is your main drain. I went ahead and cut some pieces already, got some things started, um, just so it can speed up the process a little bit. Um, this main drain here, you can see where it's flush with the bottom of the drain pan, so you know that that it's the main drain. And if you take this auxiliary plug out, you can see where it's got a little lip on it on the inside, where it's a little higher, where it's a little harder for water to get into, unless this main drain is backed up. We'll just, you know, thread in some fittings. We're going to be using some all thread um, pipe joint just, just to prevent any leakage. And these are meant to be just hand tightened mostly. Maybe you snug it with a little wrench, um, but nothing drastic because you'll crack the drain pan. Um, so like I said, this is going to be your main drain. And this one here is going to be your flow switch. And of course we're going to be using PVC cement when we put it all together. This is um, regulation for the white PVC. It's just a typical clear PVC uh, pipe cement. So we're going to be threading that in there. Like I said, I cut a lot of these pipes already just to get started on the process. So this pipe's going to come out here and it's going to come out the side. This is a different different application. A lot of times um, the units are are draining out the front, but this is a, a little different application. Like I said, it's a front facing air handler, so and the outlets for these are on the side, so we're just coming out the side. And luckily for us, there's a there's an access point here for that. So I'm just going to cut this to length with your PVC cutters. And we're using Schedule 40 pipe on most applications. Um, most contractors are using Schedule 40 now instead of the thinner wall stuff. Right, this is your safety switch. Uh, they come in three different pieces here. You got the, uh, the adapter coupling and the stopper. Um, where you can, you can have this sitting this way in your unit or you can have it sitting this way in your unit. I typically like to have it like this. It's better for cleaning, easier access to do such. And I just usually glue all that together, then your pipe will go right into here. So you have this, you have this right here and you just glue this into here uh, once it's glued. Um, gonna give you a couple Some different fittings here. I got a nine, couple 90s. So what we want to do, a lot of people will stub this unit, this uh, safety switch, right out flush 
with the hole. Um, that's okay in some cases, but in most cases it doesn't normally help anything because this has to sit below the drain pan, the primary drain pan itself. So it has to sit lower. Um, so we're going to recess this down below. I elevated the unit for this to happen. I elevated the unit so this float switch will sit down below the main drain pan and this will fill up before the drain pan will. So I got a couple fittings. I'm just going to kind of stub it like that. And I'm just dry fitting these fittings. Like I said, I'm going to go back through and, and glue them back together. I'm just showing you a typical way to put this together. That's the proper setup on a float switch where it sits below the unit and this can has time to shut down before the, the drain pan has time to overflow the system and cause water damage on your platform and floors and carpets. All right, like I said, I got everything set up here. Just, uh, I'm not ready to wire this in right away, um, but just to talk about it a little bit, I mentioned that this is a 24 volt, low, low voltage float switch. So you would just tie this into either yellow or red um, we, we like to tie it into red so it kills, kills the, uh, the unit itself. It shuts the unit down, both indoor and outdoor units all together. And it lets the, the owner know that there's something wrong as well. Versus um, if the condenser shuts down, it may take some time for the homeowner to realize that there's an issue. And already then it's going to be jumping up in you know, 15 to 20 degrees in the house on a hot summer day. And this lets them know, like I said, early on that there's, there's an issue. Yeah, we would just strip this back, send it into the low voltage side of the air handler. Um, these usually cutouts for the for the grommets. Send this in. One one side ties into the the thermostat wire on a on a straight cool system. It ties into the red on the thermostat wire, and the other side ties in to um, 24 volts in the air handler, and that'll shut the system down because it's just going to be making a, a circular path within the flow switch. It's got to go through the flow switch before it can make the continuous path within the air handler. And that's how that goes. All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the main drain. The main drain is the opposite of the auxiliary drain where you're gonna have a clean out on this side of the, um, the air handler. And it's gonna be usually going into the main drain. The biggest thing with main drains, it, it gets just piped in with a, with a T, uh, typical T's such as this, that gets, gets tied in. It, it can either go horizontally or vertically. The biggest thing with the cleanouts is that we have, we just want to make sure we're not pushing harsh chemicals down through the, uh, the drain lines because it, it can cause damage on down the road. It'll eat, the way, eat away at the glue that's being used and maybe the pipe if it's a thin wall and if, if, if the chemicals are really harsh, such as Clorox or, or a drain cleaner of some sort. Uh, so we typically like to use vinegar, very mild, it doesn't hurt nothing. It keeps things cleaned out really well and if you wanted to use vinegar and maybe dump some warm water through it afterwards kind of just keep doing that as a cycle as you change your filter that kind of cuts down on your maintenance issues as well all right well that's uh that's all we have for you today on the the drains and the float switch on a, on a typical air handler setup um, if you have any questions or concerns about anything um, any comments to add, just uh, visit our website at kalosflorida.com or you can call our office for additional information. And that's it. Thank you.